Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome back to more Bloodborne. Why are we by the lantern? Where are your blood echoes? Hmm, here's the thing. Do enemies respawn when you exit the game? Because when I booted up the game, I was still setting up for recording. I hit the continue button so that the character would load up. And because I wasn't in an area where I was instantly attacked by enemies before I ended, I figured I'd be safe. So I hit the continue button, I go under my desk to fix with some wires, and suddenly my controller starts vibrating. And I'm being attacked by a mob of people. Seemingly the same mob that I killed the last time with some Molotovs. So I grab my controller and try to fight back, but in my panic, and the low health that I already had from being ambushed, it didn't go too well. Now I don't actually want to count that as a death because it wasn't actually an official death, I was sort of taken off guard because I wasn't even playing the game when they attacked. So screw you guys, put down that shield and let me see what you've been working on, come on. Come on, no you want to, okay, there we go. Screw you. Isn't, that's usually like a setup for a critical hit in Dark Souls. Maybe it works differently here. So here we have this whole posse again. The last time I did these guys so well. Ugh. Screw you. Yeah, now I can't even get a simple hit in. But something I've noticed is that it's really good to be aggressive because you can actually get lost health back. I didn't notice this the last time. But if I take damage, you can see that my health bar will stay like orange for a little while and if I attack somebody during that time I can actually regenerate some of that lost health which is really cool you just never come out of your shield so screw you I'm not even gonna bother with ya blood echoes retrieved thank you very much I appreciate that now let us try to oh gosh that is terrible it's most terrible this is where we were up here we could, should we go up here again? Just big sh oh, wait. Oh, hey. Are you kidding me? Fine, we'll finish him. So I wanna go to that, oh, I think I see what happened actually. So nobody was heading towards my location when I ended, but I guess by the time I logged in again, those guys were already on top of my position. Because it happened like instantly, like I hit continue, went under my desk, and then got scared shitless by the vibrating controller on top of my desk. <laughs> well then, let's try this one more time, shall we? Let's try this one more time. You fellas having a good day? I'm sure you are. It's another beautiful, another beautiful day in Yarnum, you know? Hey! Whoops. Whoopsie daisy! What's my fault? It's not my fault, your face is ugly! I'm still not- I, I keep attacking them after they're dead because in Dark Souls they have a very distinct sound when they die, the enemy does. And I'm just still used to like slashing away at somebody until I hear that. But like you saw there, I was actually able to regenerate a little bit of health by attacking him. Right, didn't I unlock a shortcut here? I guess I did, which I could have taken. It's not much of a shortcut though. I mean, you might as well just go through the, the enemies, but whatever. Here, I feel like this is the screen that I ended on. I, I'm actually a little bit... I didn't mean to press that button, I'm still trying to... Because I did exit game. Oh! Yeah, no wonder I died! What's that bullshit? Why did they come back? That's so weird. Is that... Does it reset their patrol and their patrol just happened to start in that area? That's so strange. Really weird. Okay, whatever. Whatever, we'll, we'll work with it, I guess. I was just wondering. Does he just spawn on top of me? Douchebags. Okay, so we have to find a way to get through these guys. I don't know if there's a real good way for me to pull them out one by one. Oh, well, somebody heard me. Or did the bell toll and they're going out on a patrol? That might be actually, they might have their own business to attend to. I want to use my gun more and smarter. I've only really gotten that good shot in once. And actually, could I maybe pull somebody over with a bullet? Oh, that does pull quite a lot of people, plus they have a 
They have a sniper up there. No, he's not even gonna move to my position, huh? Oh, that's gonna be a little annoying, especially having to fight with a the sniper there. But, I suppose it has to be done. This is supposed to be a little bit of a cluster. Uh, good. How would I... Ow, get to him. Whoop. I'm coming for ya! Okay, and then we still have a sniper on the other side that we gotta go take care of. Oh no, doggies! Doggy doos! Oh, I hate dogs. I hate dogs in video games. Either they die or they're the enemy. Both results suck! Let's go up here. Ugh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Burn! Alright. Blood vials, thank you very much. They'll uh, probably come in handy. Ooh, more quicksilver bullets. I'll take them. Can you do a jump attack, I wonder? Oh, you can do a jump attack. Wonderful. Blood vials. Oh, I couldn't pick this up. Okay, I gotta go to the other sides. I hear something terrible, though. Find that door? There's something beating at the door. Oh, right. No backstab? Maybe I needed to be closer. Felt like that was close enough, though. <sighs> jump attack! I love jump attacks. They are wonderful. So if we get the timing down, then enemies can really struggle with ya. Blood vials. Luckily, these blood vials are quite plentiful, which I do like. I mean, it's... It's only fair if they're not gonna regenerate your cold blood dew. If they're not gonna regenerate your stuff used to gain blood echoes. Ah, okay, so it's like a poppable soul then. Should I go get that item? I mean, that seems a little... This seems like it's a trap. I'm gonna pick it up and something's gonna burst through the gate. No? We're good? Okay. Sure something was gonna burst out of there. But it looks like I can actually make my way around it. Which is probably what I have to do. Oh boy. I'm sure people who saw me end the last episode in that spot was expecting me to <laughs> log back in and get ambushed. Still don't see why though. Maybe it reset their position and their position just... Maybe it's one of those guys that I defeated earlier, remember over by the... Lover? Yeah, it... He looks similar. He looks very similar, I guess I have to defeat him. Alright. Taking down one of them, take down him as well. Anybody else here though? Hello? I don't reckon you're from around here. Well, stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> Lovely people. Okay, well, if bullets aren't that helpful, then I'm gonna go with my weapon on this. Probably could ignore this guy, but I want to loot here. So you know what that means. Hello. You see him. Huh! Yeah! Whoa! Damn! He goes for it. That he does. Just gonna play it safe there. He smashed my head in with that rock, but Sir Codicus, he has a great brain. Ooh, torch. What does a torch do in this game? Is it used as a accessory 
fire attack. All right, let's display. A common torch formed by wrapping a pine resin drenched cloth around the end of a long stick. Hunters choose torches not only because of the hunt leads into the darkest nooks, but also because certain creatures they are obsessed with a deathly fear of flame. Really? Well then. And then this would... Okay, is there a button I can use to hold it up with? Maybe not, maybe it's just something I keep passively. That's cool, so now I just have that one click away. I wonder if it's... What are these things? They look like crows of some sort. Probably flammable. Okay, they're um, not that affected by flame it seems. Alright, it was worth a shot, I just figured if I find the torch they probably are in the area. Oh come on, that was gonna be a double kill. Till you made me waste it! You bastard! Ow. Don't do that. Give me back some of my health. I like that mechanic though, because it really does incentivize more aggressive gameplay. And that's that's really strange, because I'm used to the slow, methodical gameplay. The tactical, defensive one. So it's it's something new. It's a brave new world. Cold blood do. Not gonna pop those out here in the middle of nowhere. So I don't know where the nearest lantern's gonna be at. Close by a device. Can I knock on this door? Nobody cares about. Oh, there's something bad up there, isn't there? A dog. Yeah. Attack him with the torch. Didn't seem to do much. Still trying to find. Oh, snipers! Snipers! And more of them. Try to get... I keep trying to get both of these guys at once. Ah, oh, this is gonna be my death. Torch was a really bad idea. Well, who am I supposed to use it on? Don't give me a torch and tell me that some people might be weak to it and then give me no enemies that are weak to it. That guy has a torch. I think he's pretty fine with them. Come on, boys. Just gonna shoot through your friend there. <clears throat> Come on. You're gonna make me burn? I think you're gonna burn. Thank you. So there's one guy with a gun and one guy with a dog. Sounds like the start of a, a riddle. So there's a man with a gun, a man with a dog. I want to kill both of them. How do I do that? Like this, doggy! Ah! Oh, they keep zooming around me. Whoa. Everybody's so quick in this one. I suppose that's the point. Quick silver bullets. Six blood vials. Thank you. I feel like that's gonna be one of the most the plentiful most plentiful loot we'll have around here. And do we go up here to continue? Nothing extra that I've missed. Maybe somewhere. I feel I've done a, a, a fairly good, 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 good job so far. That's bad. That's really bad. Is there anything over here that I would want to pick up? Oh, there is. Bloodstone shard. I guess it's like a titanite shard? Seems to be a pretty basic upgrade material. Oh boy. Can I move in this direction? Thank you. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over here, I think, yeah. You guys have a good life, okay? Probably have to pass there, but... Why do today what can be postponed tomorrow? It's a great motto. Use it all, all in all my days of studying. Ten pebbles. Aren't I lucky? So I can throw pebbles at them. Maybe 
I can use a pebble as a distraction. I feel like that could actually be a good idea, because I feel- I, I know, like, people will probably hear a gunshot and notice a cocktail, but... A pebble? One measly little pebble? I can't get a lock on. It's a bit of a shame that they used the same button for lock on and changing your... Resetting your camera, because if you don't have a lock on, you do a, a different action that you don't necessarily want. Hey. What is this, a stealth game? Can I get one at a time? Alright. I'm gonna pull him back here, I think. I wanna see how effective, uh, actually, I have to try. Are you scared of fire? Ugh! Uh oh. Gotta watch my stamina here as well. I have very low stamina bar. There we go, got my health back. That's so cool. I mean, you probably you, lo you probably lose like a, a small chunk, but being aggressive in return. I, I, I really like that mechanic, actually. That's not fair. What the frick? Okay, now we need to calm it. Calm it. There we go. Very good, very good, very good. Guns don't do that much damage. I guess they're just sort of, they're, they're used in different ways. They're not supposed to be damage dealers. At least not this one. And I even got the one that did the most damage, so... Hello, you feral beast. Gotta learn your moves. That was bad. I really should be attacking them back to regain that health, but I don't feel comfortable enough with the uh, with their attack style yet to really warrant such a thing. Oh, I hate! I feel like I have no range. There we go. This is probably gonna help increase my range a little. Ugh. Well, nice to see you too. Douchebag threw me off. Oh, are you... Come on. Come on down. I mean, I have to go back up there anyway, so... You're just postponing your death. That's not the way, Dark. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's he's here. Oh, he jumped down, actually. I didn't think he'd do that. Well, where are you? Oh, he's down there. I slew the beast. Good. Blood vials. Da da da. Without plentiful, they are. You almost feel good using them in combat as well. I I'm really digging the mechanics so far. I gotta go make my way back up there though. Alrighty. Here's that bridge once more. Oh, there's a guy over there. Here's the guy over there. Guy who does not look happy to see me. On the contrary, actually hasn't even seen me. I can't even judge him. I can't just judge a, a man by his face. That'd be most rude. I'm not using a gun that much anyways, so. Still not figured out the best way to use it. I mean, I did do quite well that one time, but maybe that was a once in a lifetime shot. <laughs> I do want to use it more though. Oh boy, there's so many. I thought I was gonna like go over the bridge and get somewhere new, but now I'm still on the side of the bridge and there's still plenty of places to go. Oh no. Dogs in their cages, dogs in their cages. I don't care. I'm putting them down. Don't care that they're in a cage. See, that one got out. What's to say the others won't? Ugh. Ah! <laughs> what a kill. I'm sorry. You can't be trusted. They're crying or laughing. Not sure. Sounds like both. 
Strange. Sight. When, when will I learn? You don't just pick up an item. You see who's watching the item before you pick up the item. There's nothing behind there. I'm taking care of these doggy doos. They aren't getting close to me. What are you barking about? The door? You're a hunter, aren't you? Then, well, do you know of any safe places? Safe places? Hmm. I've heard I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, if you were to go off your arse, it wouldn't be in this mess. You're obligated to help me, you hear? So what'll it be? Are you going to tell me you're not? No. Yeah, I should have known. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, good for nothing. No respect for the elderly is what that is. Yeah. Fat little good you outsiders do. I didn't... Go on. Admit it. You think we're all mad, don't you? Well, go and stop it. I know all your tricks. Okay, lady. That's how you feel. Who's hiding in the barrels? Who's hiding in the barrels? Surely there must be somebody here. Oh, wow. What is this place? There's so many paths to take. Shouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's from soft after all. The level designs quite something. So we could go down there, but that's boring. It's for normies. Let's go over here. Look at this place. Hear those noises. Not a fan. Cool blood too. Oh! Did somebody just... Oh yeah, they got shooters. They got them shooters down there. Not a fan. Send him down. And they have that guy down there who looks rather... Ominous. Get that one down too. Okay. Wait, there's actually a path over here. I won't have to go down to you guys at all, even though I would. Cause you gotta explore. It's so weird not having the block button. That is really odd. You are probably an NPC, right? Hello. Oh, a hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Bold Hunter's Mark. Four of them. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. Well, that's not good. Hold on, let me check your item. Awaken anew without losing blood echoes. Ah, Homer Bone. Thank you. Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. Shake off kick. Oh, man. What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. Okay, okay, okay. But if I didn't speak with you more times, you wouldn't have got given me that awesome thing. Let's see, conviction. Let's see. Let's switch our point forward with our new one. Oh, yeah. I like it. Eh, eh. I'm, I'm doing the motion. Okay, 
can't get it to work. Motion controls are silly. I prefer sticking to pressing a button to do stuff. Always have, always will. I am set in my old ways. Mm, back in my day, we didn't have these motion controls. Oh, wait, there's no way back, huh? Alright, I'm gonna drop attack the shit out of this guy. Nope, I'm not. I fell. Uah. Yeah, I fell. Probably should have attacked them back. I'm still trying to get used to that aggressive playstyle, but I wanted to get out of that room because I know there are gunmen in there. Oh, I hate that they don't... I don't know if an enemy is dead or not. It's more subtle in this game than it is in Dark Souls, because in Dark Souls you always hear that and then you hear the sound of their souls coming to you. Look at that guy! Yes, see him better days. He's like half beast in a way. Okay, I'm gonna try and get a sneak attack up on him. As in jumping attacks, I don't know if a backstab even works. Oh. He is a big one. Hey, hey. Goodbye. Good, good. We gave him a real nasty surprise there. I'm gonna heal up since we're in a new area looking for a new lamp. It's the best time to heal. When you're not sure when your next safe haven will be. There's one of them. He is no more. And there's probably one on the other side as well. Try to hit him through the wall there. You can some our enemies can sometimes do that in uh, Dark Souls, but you can't always. That was a pretty good attack there. Very powerful. Hits the enemy twice. But of course, very long build up, so you gotta be prepared. But I know there was another gunman. Maybe that was just one guy. Also, yeah, maybe it was trying to fire directly upwards at me. That that could be why I Did you hear footsteps? You heard like tippy tappy tippy tappy. Tippy tappy tippy tappy. They had to bring back the rats, huh? Oh, there's a lower level to this. Okay, yeah, that's that's an adventure for another day. Gosh, I hear breaking of boxes. I wish I could, like, activate... If I could, like, attach myself to that and use that to swing myself up, that'd be pretty good. Get silver bullets. Alright, plenty of them over there. Also one of the bigger guys. Oh, those guys have guns. Who do you focus on first, then? Let's let the gun guys walk away, and let's try to get the attention of uh, the big... No, they're, they're all in the same area. I really like the amount of choice that you have in, like, where you go. It feels very open. Like, there are so many different paths that I could be taking. And I appreciate that. Oh! Didn't think it was gonna hit me. Good thing about arrows and bullets in Dark Souls is that they travel relatively slowly to give you a chance to dodge, which I like. They travel unrealistically slowly, especially arrows in Dark Souls 1. But it's to make it possible to get out of the attack range. Ugh. Sometimes you gotta, gotta take a chance on the heavy attacks. So if I now pop this one, yeah. So if you're almost, yeah. So you should top off before looting bodies if you have 19 blood vials. So. Or 20, rather. That being said, if, if you have 20 of them, you're in a pretty good spot. I don't know if they're gonna be this generous with them throughout the, the whole game. And they're not as powerful as Estus. Maybe like, totally unupgraded Estus, but I don't know if you, if you could ever upgrade these blood vials. So we could go down there, which I don't quite want to do. We have those evil crow thingies over here that I'm gonna surprise the shit out of. Yeah! Get out of here. Thank you. Oh gosh! Thought I saw something. Let's get rid of that. 
Are there durability in this? I think there is. It's probably more like Dark Souls 1 durability, though. In Dark Souls 2, your weapons would, like, break between bonfires, more or less. In Dark Souls 1, it's much more rare. You have to use them for an extended amount of time. I like the Dark Souls 1 model. Well. Oil urn. Yes, I think I've actually gotten some of those, but I never checked out what they do. Hopefully I'm safe here. Urn that covers target in oil when thrown. Oh, -ho. so would that combine with the Molotov cocktail do more damage? Maybe add a fire dot on them? Or perhaps that should be combined with something like a torch. Regardless, it is interesting. So many paths to take. I must applaud them. This is like really exciting. Although it's also infuriating because I'm like, but I want to I explore everything. But do I go here? Is this an optional path? Is this the right path? I feel like I'm... Oh, no. No, I don't trust that those guys are dead. I'm sorry, I don't. Uh-huh, there's a big ladder there. Yeah, let's take a quick breather here and let Dark relax with his phone. Ah, oh, yes. Ooh. Okay. So, there's a way over there. There's a way down there. I think what I want to do is I want to go back inside and drop down to the rats because I feel like that could actually also lead me out down there. But there's... That's an item on a corpse hanging there. I want that. Oh boy. Because that's not the crow's item. That's actually the item from the person. Oh, 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 we, we. Just being very careful here. Because I don't want to fall too far. <laughs> I'm walking on. Nothing. Whoa. And I got a bloodstone shard. Yay. All right, now. Wee. Wee. What was that? Did that just affect me falling, or was I attacked by maggots because I was standing still? Maybe just an effect of me falling. So this is where I can drop down. The first time, okay. And this probably leads back to inside where I saw the rats. Now, if I go from above, I probably have more of a... ...lead when it comes to them. I have the upper hand. So it would probably be for the better if I come from above. Like, look down there. Those nasty things. Ew. Ew. Oh my god, big guy. They're like so gross. There's so many of them. Oh boy. There we go. Come here, Raddy Roo. Come here. Good. Okay, not that. Well, I managed to drop him down. That's actually good. One less to worry about. I wanted the other guy to come there so I could drop attack him, but that's not happening. Okay. Did I get my health back from dropping down somewhere by attacking a foe? That was cool. I think that's what happened. Careful, careful, careful. Just let him be down there. We can deal with those later. I don't trust you! My trust was misplaced. My distrust was misplaced, rather. My trust was well placed. Was your trust well placed if... No, I guess it was- it wasn't well placed then. But your distrust was even more not well placed. This is confusing. I can't jump over there right now. I gotta go get a double kill here. There we go. Hey, ready Roos. <laughs> oh boy! Kill him! Kill him! There we go. Madman's knowledge? What is that? Skull of an enlightened madman used to gain insight. Okay, yeah, so insight is symbolized by that eye over there. From what I know, like from what I've gathered, which isn't a lot of information, the more insight you have, like you go slightly more mad and you can see new aspects of the world. Is that how it works? Maybe it works a little like humanity. I don't really know how insight works. That's the sort of thing that I would like some input on from viewers. 
just explaining, you know, mechanics and such. Like, I want to figure out boss strategies and all of that myself. I don't want to know that around this corner is going to be an ambush, but game mechanics themselves and stuff like inside, I'd be all down for a quick explanation of those to help me on my journey. If I haven't been able to post the first episode just yet, I'm going to do it in just a sec, and then I'm going to absorb all of your knowledge. Mmm, <laughs> good knowledge. Madman's knowledge. So let's go back and get the other rat there as well. I'm very meticulous when it comes to searching areas in Dark Souls game, and this extends to Bloodborne. If I know there's an item somewhere, I want to go and get it. So we can probably drop down on the ratty roost. Which is what we are going to do. Oh, uh, boy. I hear them walking about. If any of you want to come out here and... Oh, just look at him. He's just scampering about. So cute. Okay. They're all hiding. Oh boy. They're, they remind me a little of the rats in Dark Souls 1. Uh, I, I forgot why. I'm just focusing on not dying. I forgot why they reminded me of them. Yeah, I've already forgotten. That's great. That's how great my train of thought is going to be in this one. Saw spear? Is that a weapon? Saw spear's a weapon. Let's see. Slightly less damage. Better deck scaling or skill scaling. One of the trick weapons of the workshop commonly used by those who dedicate themselves to the hunt. This saw effective at drawing blood of the beast and throwing into medium range spear. Spear! The saw with a set of bloodletting teeth has become a symbol of the hunt. Only grows in effectiveness the more grotesque transform the beast. Oh, you know I love myself a good spear. Ooh, we actually have a proper pokey poke now. Aw, oh, yes. Pokey poke! Yeah, I can't believe that hit him. So it's slightly weaker, but I think I want to try it out a bit. It's not as badass as the axe. But it's it's something. I, I do enjoy a good spear. A good spear every once in a while is only magnificent. And then we checked over here and we checked both corners here. Good! That means we can continue on with probably only a few things left behind. There's always going to be some sort of secret that I miss. But that's okay. As long as I feel like I did a thorough search and didn't just rush a zone, then I'm quite pleased with the outcome of said endeavor. And now we... Oh no, but there are some nasty things down there that I have to go down to. They actually scare me, but no way I'm gonna end this episode while being down there, because well, for all I know, when I hit continue, I'm gonna get ambushed immediately upon start again. I could jump over there, though. To that ladder. Or just that. Where... Do, wait. So, wait, actually being down there leads me straight to that ladder. And then you can drop further down. Oh, this place is... This place is amazing. I want to do the shake off kick. Yeah. Would he just do this if I was just randomly moving my controller about? Like, I'm moving it, but nothing's really happening. I don't quite get that. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I don't want it. Whoa! This is Carlicus. This is Yarnum. And things are looking pretty terrible. If you'd like to share some details with me about, you know, the mechanics of Bloodborne or things I might want to know, then feel free to do so. I'll read your comments and I'll be back in the next one to continue exploring this dark, creepy realm. And I just noticed that this isn't actually two-handed. I can still use my gun while it's in its long form. That's pretty cool. Have a still good day. Take care and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.